Right, I'm going to show you how to make crocuses today with just a normal tin. So use your tin opener to remove the top and bottom of your tin. Okay, when you've done this, you can discard these and then you're going to cut your tin in half. So I like to cut down the seam using your tin snips. And then to be able to use this tin, we need to cut off the top and the bottom rim so we can open out properly. So be careful because this will make a sharp edge. In fact, I might even cut a little smoothie round bit there. And then you want to cut both the top and the bottom off using your tin snips. All right, so we've removed the top and bottom, which means that your tin will now open out. And we're going to cut a square. So use your eye and judge kind of a rough square. We'll be able to get two out of each tin. So there's one. And then that's about a square, we can fit. That's my two squares. Now the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to cut a line in from the centre of each side. Not right to the middle. Okay, like this, and you're gonna do that all the way around. So another little line like this. That's because these are gonna be the stamen. Not all the way to the centre. And then one more. Right, so I've cut both my um, my squares how I want them to be. And now I'm going to go and put two holes in the centre of each square with a drill. Um, I'll be needing that later. So to do that, I'm going to get a piece of wood to drill into. My drill. Okay, repeat that with the second one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the petals out of each square. So you want a classic petal shape like that. It doesn't quite come off, just twist it. And then the same for this side to make sure you've got no little uh, pointy bits. That's what you want it to look like. Um, uh, so go, go and do that for all of the quarters. All right, so I've cut my crocus petals out. Now I'm going to get my long, long nose pliers and I'm going to bend each petal in the middle so it's got a bit of a shape onto it. It's got a bit of a groove down the middle. I don't want to, I want to do this before I paint it because otherwise I'm going to mess up my paint job, obviously. So you're giving it just a little tweak. You can do it with your fingers, actually, if you haven't got pliers. It's quite soft. Because after we've painted them, then we'll bend them up and it's easier if you've already got that original shape and your stamen will go into the middle but obviously before we do all that bending we need to paint them so just do that with both of them so I'll just show you again use your long nose pliers and then just bend them up like that so you've got a little bit of a nice almost like a cup into the petal and then we're going to spray these and you can spray them either a white or a purpley colour um, or gold, but these middle, the stamen, I think they're called the stamen, those bits in the middle are the bits that are going to be a goldy orangey colour because that's what crocuses look like. I've made a, a paint booth using a box and I'm spraying these outside as well ventilated. I'll let that dry and then turn them over and spray the other side and then later on I will hand paint in the orange goldy coloured stamens.
Okay, so here are my painted crocuses, both sides are the same. So we need a little bit of wire. And uh, normally I thread them up last, but for this one I need to do it first because then I'm going to bend the orangey bits into the middle. So put it through like that, pull it tight, do a little twist at the back to hold it steady. And then you can just use your fingers for this bit. So move that one out of the way so we can see better. We bend these in first and then you're going to just gently bend the petals up as well so use your fingers to bend them how you want them to be I wouldn't use the um, pliers at this stage because you'll scrape the paint off if you do but Now, some of them, obviously, you can do them different shapes because some of them are going to be more open than others, but that's the basic shape that you're going to go for. That's it from the side. And then you can do some that are more closed in. So you just do the same thing, but you just bend the those stapled stamens in first, and then you want to bend the top bit so it's more like a closed shape. Just use your fingers and... Have a little tweak of how you want them to do. Each one's going to be a little bit different. Okay. So here we have a few of my crocuses. I've made some white ones, and some yellow ones, and some purple ones. The little stems. I'm going to try and put them on a wreath. And if you're going to put these outside, you need to spray them with. Um, an exterior varnish as well, um, just to give them that extra weatherproofing.